aloha ahi ahi ka hololani au i am the hololani and today we're gonna fly this our stick airplane here the 750 7200f from manila to davao and we're gonna fly cargo today we're gonna take some supplies down there and speaking of davao we hope the people in davao are safe and everyone's we wish them well as they are going through a time with some seismic activities down there so let's step inside and get this airplane pre pre flighted shall we i'm gonna put the flight plan in and when i'm done with that i'll come back and we'll do the rest of the pre-flight together all right see you then okay we've got the flight plan put in and almost all the takeoff data so i did a little bit of the pre-flight over here we have our EECs on, our yaw dampers, our yaw dampers are on. We're not going to switch the APU on just yet. We're going to finish fueling first. And then turn it on, if we should. Switch the limiters on. Turn these on, and we're ready to go. Switch this to USB. So, that's that. We're going to switch this to Auto 1. Bending up the tube will be there. And turn the rate to here. Passenger signs go on. Window heat comes on. Okay, get that on. Gonna open up the APU. Isolation. Engine bleeds. Those are coming on quite nicely. You can hear them. You know, that sounds powerful. Let's check the options. Okay. I wonder. That makes things a little bit easier. Yeah. Quite a bit easier. This makes things quite a bit easier. Okay. Yeah, that's quite a bit better, isn't it? How about that? I didn't realize this was here. I did not realize this was here. Wow, I'm so dumb. You learn something every day, huh? Okay, airspeed tape is there. Heading up, map. We'll leave that normal for now. Okay. the configuration here. I, just, I like this configuration. Is the airplane loaded? Yes it is. So let's remove these. Uh oh, put that back. I'm stupid. Alright, just turn it on. I am such an idiot. I forgot to turn on the APU first. Oops. now available no it's not All right goodbye APU 
new generation should be coming on any time now, and he wants back our everything. <coughs> oh, that's why. Alright, good, our everything is back. Except we have to enter the flight plane again. Wonderful. Or do we? Yes, we do. Great. Oh well. I'll be back. Okay, we're back after that, after that little snafu. Guess we're having more snafu, shall we? We've got everything back to where it should be with our APU running this time. Hopefully that won't happen again. Okay. Now let's actually close the doors to the airplane. Plane is loaded. Snafu, snafus everywhere. for our reserves. Delta 350. The wind was up here 84.34. There we go. Take off. Temperature is 23 degrees Celsius, if I remember. And it's probably wrong because these are numbers taken from an A350, which is a much bigger aircraft. I don't have a V-speed calculator, so we'll have to deal with it. Okay. So that looks like everything from that. Our entry doors are in fact closed. Oh. Okay. Pull this back. Pull these back. Move those up. Pull this back. Turn up our indicator lights. Yeah, my instruments are nice up nice and high. The glare shield is gonna leave it on. Turn on the any ices, but we're gonna need them flying through this rain. Wipers. Let's hit those off for now. Okay, those are good. <coughs> That's all good. We're running normal this time, which is better. Okay, let's push back. Right collision light, let's go. And you're back, my 737 friend. Right, we're gonna call the pushback truck and push back. I miss Airbus. Airbus made this pretty easy. Easier. This is an old airplane, so that's why. All right, brakes on. Let's go. Here we go to Davao. Taking some supplies. Of course, after that, we will probably head to Puerto Princesa. <coughs> Excuse me. And after that, maybe Cebu. So, for those of you who don't know, 
Wow, that 737 drove through the buildings. Here's Philippines. Here's Manila. Here's Davao. So it's gonna be a one of the furthest flights we can fly without actually leaving the Philippines. All right, our flight time is gonna be rather short today. Maybe about hour, hour and a half. You won't have time to do all that much. Just your normal stuff. Okay, let's push back. On to the lines. Alright, that's good. Perfect. I can break on. Thank you, pushback truck. We'll see you next time. Right, thank you, we'll see you next time. Now, we are going to start the engines. I'm gonna pull up the um, checklist. And here we go. Flight deck door is locked. CDU display. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Flight director, auto throttle. We're cruising at 35,000. Right, LNAV ready. VNAV go. No message here. Here. Okay. Okay. The bugs. We'll just use our eyes to do that. I don't want to set the bugs. Let's get the proper pressure reading, by the way. This is why I like digital. It's all right there. Details. Two nine or seven six. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, good. Okay, those are good. Those are all good. All the electric pumps are switched. Okay. All right, fuel pump switches are gonna come on. The cross feed's gonna go down. Start up. Check. Pack control selectors are going to go off. Both of them. Left engine starts. Okay. And here we go. Let's try this again this time. Last time we messed this up pretty bad. This airplane, it's not friendly to mistakes and it's really old, so. M3 hits 25% and fuel is introduced. There we go, that's much better. Have a nice little flip over. Good. Let's stay there. Okay, good. Checklists. Let's go to our checklists. Where did I put my checklists? Alright, there we go. Checklists. Other engine. Let's go. Wait for this to run up. Twenty-five 
23%. And switch to run. Alright, good. Altitude, we don't have an altitude tape, unfortunately. We have an airspeed tape, though. Okay, so we're gonna go. What should my speed? Do we do our. Flaps. Take off reference. Use reference. So, let's go to. Okay. It's not here. Performance initiation. There we go. Not here at all. That's fine. I know what we're going to do, anyways. This airplane is rather old, isn't it? Can I put our flaps to 20? Taxi light's gonna come on. And the Roman turn are gonna come on too. Wow, I got heavier. So, <coughs> let's shut down the AP when our both engines are on. And turn the packs back on so we can breathe. Okay, so See, there's nobody back there. Doesn't matter. Parking brake, I'm gonna disagree, that's all that's left. Okay. Step outside and do our flight control checks. Now we can hear something. Waterfall right. Better pull left. Elevator pull up. Elevator pull down. Pull left turn. Pull right turn. We're ready. Let's get out of here. Almost every airplane you can see is more modern than us right now. That's why this is a bit of a challenge, but it's a welcome one. really is a high level sim here. It impresses me just thinking about all the systems that are modeled here. Imagine what an actual moving simulator must be like. Or imagine what a real airplane must be like. The simulator is this complex, imagine the real deal. There goes the APU shutting down. This airport's a bit tough on the frames, by the way, this version of Manila. But we got the engine started this time, which took a little bit of study, as each flight back to the airplane seems to be more complex than the last. We might update the A350, I wonder what it's going to turn into. I'm looking forward to that. Just imagine. We're going to update the 777. That's going to be pretty fun too. Let's get a little bit more. As far as the speed is concerned, our parking brake should be off. I 
think I want to turn the wipers up a little bit more. Hit the anti ices, by the way. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Turn this panel lights on. There we go. That'll allow me much more space to see. Without straining my eyes in the dark. Altimeter disagree, that's because I have mine over here and the copilot instruments are not set. Because I don't actually have a copilot. Kinda sad. Okay. Let's keep following this. And we'll stop here. To do the rest of the ready. Some important stuff today. As you can see the weather is not ideal. So we're gonna definitely need this. Oh. The controls are up here though. WXR, switch this to 40, traffic on, there we go, this goes to WX, systems on, this goes to TARA, okay, everything here looks good, mic selector, all that wonderful stuff. see this stuff. <clears throat> Is that the terrain radar? Yes, yeah, terrain. Okay, good. And the airports, data waypoints, normal map stuff. Oh, no wonder I can barely see it. Okay, good. Now, wow. Interesting. That's just the ground. The real stuff's gonna come when we get in the air. Strobe lights, wind lights, other landing lights on, or we turn off our boat on. There we go. Sometimes things get weird in this airplane, so let's take off. Chronometer. The chronometer. He's activated. Ready to go. What's behind us? Nothing. Those are just the bright strobes. Let's go. Let's go. We'll roll on to the runway. Stabilization speed, let's go. Power set. Good. 
Those are about right. How about that? Positive climb. Gear up. Okay, we are in the cake. The flap speeds are in the cake. That's good. Still loud. No stalling out. The wind's right. I think I can still hold on to it till ten thousand. Airplane quite knows what it's doing now. It keeps giving us weird commands. Luckily, there's just cargo here, no passengers. Coming up on 3,000 feet. today. Out of it. Right, I'm gonna, there we go. 
my ICC stars now. We're getting above it. Clean up our windows. That was an interesting takeoff. I could not see a thing. Take a look outside. The engines sound a lot angrier now that they're on and we're in the sky with our stick airplane here. And now we can see some of the city of Manila Balloon. Now it's raining really hard. Now it's raining really hard, but we know that we just do it. Do it anyway. That was interesting. Okay.
soon.
guys are gonna be safe. We're over it all. It's below us. If we hit zero hill, let's see what we get. Nada. Okay, we're fine. Zero hill gives us nothing. Alright, good. We just do not want to go down right now. Catch you guys on the descent. Whatever is happening, we 
us in any negative way we get iced that's what I'm worried about getting iced but in reality these clouds will probably be a lot higher to go around the storms this weather is interesting here in X-Plane and I may need to get some plug in or something to upgrade this weather to make it a little bit more realistic okay, we're descending now and um, yeah why is our door open? Oh, whatever you guys, get ready back there Still wide open. I think that this is a cargo flight, and the rules are different on a cargo flight. We're okay, about to dive headfirst into this. I think I've got the APIs on. Still no sign of rain. Rain comes, I'll switch the wipers on. Okay, we're going in. That's not lightning, those are our strobes. Oh, and we're below it just like that. That was quick. Alright, this is going to be our last leg on to. Star. So we're going to keep this ending. And there's the island of Mindanao below us. Looking as beautiful as ever. Hopefully the next flight weather will be better. So we can not rely as much on our autopilot. Supplies are coming. Supplies are coming. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna go through this descent. And I'll catch you guys when we're on final or if something significant happens. See you then. Alrighty guys, and we're back on final. The weather has cleared up significantly, which means we should be able to have a pretty good, decent, normal approach in here. So let's make sure we get the radios on. Menu, okay, see you normal. So there's no nav red page here, so let's see. We have okay, it's just normal fixes, we'll do that and you just did that. Departure around hold programming. Oh progress, I'm sorry. Okay, descent. Cruise out there. Initial preference. We have the ILS here. 109.90. The markers are showing up. Okay, so I think we need to get ready. So that is not um, what is it? Precipitation. So random discoloration for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. So okay, ILS is alive. Let's go down to. 180 knots, shall we? See the outer marker flashing there. Our V ref is 127. That is a very, very slow approach, but we're not going to go all the way down to that speed. Spoilers. 
There we go. And when we turn back around, it'll be time for the... Oh, what am I going to say? The final. And 162 is full, so let's drop to 140. Okay, this is it guys. Landing in Davao. Let's see if we can do it after so long of not flying this airplane. The weather's nice though, so this should be okay. Pull the speed brakes back in. So we're down to 140, which means we can go. Okay, that's good. We're gonna hit this turn and then go. I'm not sure what that message is. <coughs> okay. Up to altitude alert, 1,000 feet. It's radar altimeter alive, not yet. I'll go ahead and go gear down. And the last degree of flaps. It's coming down. There it is. And wait for it. There it is. Gears down. Flaps are ready. Bring the speed brakes in and arm them up. Auto brake is set to two. It's going to be pretty dry in here. The Davao Airport is over there. So we hit this turn and we're going to go straight in for a landing. The localizer alive. Come on, localizer, come alive. Okay, 2200 feet. Localizer alive. Localizer hold activated. It's gonna line us up. And we're going to wait for the glide slope to come alive. Alright, flaps to pull, gear down, auto brake set, supporters arm. The glide slope comes alive, we're going to take back control of the airplane and put it down. Glide slope alive, auto throttle disengage. Autopilot is connected. My airplane. Let's land. We need some descent speed. Okay, not that much. Okay. Gotta put it down a little bit further. Okay, right there on the localizer. Glide slope, okay. This looks kind of steep. We're just gonna trust our instruments today. Okay, we're right on it. Speed is good. That reference speed was almost going to have us stalled out. 1,000 on the radar altimeter. Copy. Two red, two white. Okay, keep it straight and level. Little low. Put some power back in. Okay, take it back out. Little off to the side here, okay, get it kinda high. Five hundred. 
500. I'm getting really high. Keep the power in. In a marker. Minimums. Continue. 100. Alright, taking the power. 50, out. 40, 30, 20, 10. And reverse. All right, we're down. Welcome to Davao, guys. Stay on the runway. And, and go back in there. Okay. 70 knots. Right, reverse. Reverse off. Okay, brush is off. And brakes disengaged. Okay, welcome to Davao, guys. Let's exit the runway. We need to go to the other side and make a turn around and then come back. Because that's the way the um, airport here in Davao works. All right, good flight, guys. Get up the airplane. Okay, spoilers in, flaps in. I'm gonna turn around, and then we're gonna keep the strobes on because we're still on the runway. And we'll watch a replay once we vacate the runway of that landing. Okay, the stick is down. You're good. I thought for a second you were going to overshoot the runway, but you didn't. There was no passengers because we have no passengers, but I'm okay with that. Let's go to the cargo ramp, park this guy up. First flight in our series called Ahololani. I am one of the ones Ahololani. Let's go to the gate. Stop and take a look at the rest. For our next flight, we will have us going to do no there. I'll be first for the first time. Small plane. I'm not good at small airplanes, so let's see how that works. But the speed to those sounds is actually quite fun. I felt pretty deal. I revealed the, the secret. This particular iteration of the Dava report is my own creation. I uploaded it to the x forum for all to enjoy. So why not share your creation with the world? Okay, turned around. Get back on the runway. There, those two lights were going to turn off. We're going to stop there and go um, we'll get our replay. I think that was a good replay. Although I think that came in a little bit too hard. We're going to watch it. We'll have fun with it. <laughs> good stuff. I'm actually relaxed now with that so I thought I was going to be descending through a thunderstorm. There was certainly one coming down here. I think 
Sea of Cebu. Speed up quite still getting the full end of this, so I'm okay with that. Very okay with that. Yeah, that wasn't bad. How do you pull it up? I don't know if it wasn't bad, I thought. Okay, now let's go in the ground mode, shall we? The motor just go on. We can't do that, we can't have that. The 37 is coming. So, first things first. APU start. And we are going to... FMC messages. We are that. We know. Okay, so let's turn off the WXR. Test mode. Switch it off up here. Let's stop the chronometer. Hit the logo light, which I forgot. Spin down the Those gear right things stay on. These gonna come off. Wing. And the strobe is gonna come off. Gonna have the nav. Have the beacon on. Runway turn off. Come off. TARA transponder is going to go to standby. And the marker is still playing. Let's go here. And silence these. Okay, good. Since we don't have any passengers, we don't have to make any announcements. So that's good. Taking off, or we don't know what it's doing. APU is running. Okay, good. Good, everything looks good. So, let's taxi in, shall we? Glass, please. Pull the track did. A 
first taxi and the cargo ramp is literally right in front of us. Right, let's go. Probably number two here. Surviving thunderstorms, or flying over them, we didn't really have any trouble. We do deserve to have a nice, easy parking. So we're gonna come here on the first line. Just bring it in. Nice and easy. There we go. The lights are lighting up our world. So we're gonna go full brakes, regular efforts, slow down. We're gonna get too close to the building. That would be bad. And stop. Park the brake off. Okay, good. So Idle the engines out. Let's get that nose gear off so we don't get blinded. Okay, so the engines are idled out. We're at the proper altitude. Parking brake is on. Altitude disagree. We'll worry about that later. And the APU is running. Generator is on the buses, so. Let us save you and shut down. The power turns back over to the APU. And that's our flight for today, guys. Welcome to Davao. Aboard our FedEx transport flight. Okay, let's check the flight directors just to make sure everything goes back down to normal. Okay, welcome to Davao. Let's get the lights back up. Uh, not the chart lights, those can actually go down. The dome lights. Okay, welcome to Davao. And let's hit the anti ices, let's turn them off. Alrighty, that's it. Good. And the fuel pumps can go off too. Well, all but the APU ones. Because the APU is actually still running. Okay, let's take a look outside, see what it looks like nice and parked. APU is still running. So we're gonna turn off the beacon and call the um, ground service vehicles to come. Uh oh, with that thunder. No, 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 no. Turn off the beacon and call the ground service vehicles to come service us up. So the beacon goes away. Alright, and position might stay on. Ready, come service us up. Ground. Luggage loader, yes. Chalks, yes. Stairs, yes. High pressure unit, we don't need. GPU, we don't need. Fuel truck, we don't need. Waste unit, yes. Order unit, yes. ACU, not yet. And the ice, it's hot in the Philippines. So let's open the front door, open this main door, open the forward and aft. 
go outside, take a look, make sure that everything is in place, excuse the iPad, and let's drone operations ground, unload the airplane. Alright, well, that was an interesting flight, sleepy for the commentary I suppose, or over here. We um, encountered some thunderstorms on the way down, but we didn't, have, we didn't have to descend through them, which is good. We um, we had a harrowing takeoff through all that rain, but we made it, and we made it out into the clear, clear night of Davao. We had a nice landing as well, which we got a nice replay of. You know what I'm gonna do, just to be nice, as we're unloading the cargo and no passengers. I'm going to shut down the passenger seat belt sign. Not like there's people up here anyways. So, go back outside. The APU is still on. That's the only thing still on right now. It's giving us power. As we unload the aircraft. Okay, that's enough for me. We'll finish unloading the aircraft and then I'll stop. So, Aloha ahi ahi, when to explain time, kaholola ni ao. And I will see you guys for our next flight to, if the plan is correct, Puerto Princesa on the island of Palawan. So, see you guys then. Aloha.